Now, people from Southern African nations are having a reunion in the Washington DC area this weekend. It will include family picnic, uh, games, a fashion show, and a soccer tournament. To tell us more about it, I'm joined by Sitinga Kachipande, one of the organizers of the event, right? Yes, thank you. So you're, you're most welcome to Africa 54. So first, uh, tell us a little bit about the, you know, how this came about. It's not all the time you hear of a whole region of a continent holding a common event. Okay. Well, in 2013, um, a group of um, some of the community leaders from Southern Africa, um, we got together and decided that it was time to make more formal relations between our communities rather than meeting informally. And so we um, held our first Southern African reunion weekend in 2013, and then um, it was successful, and we decided that um, this was something that we wanted to do um, more often, and then also something that we want to um, become more formal. So we started registering as a nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us a bit about how you do this. Uh, there are quite a number of events. How do you coordinate this and make sure they come together? Okay. So we have a board of directors. As I said, we are now a registered nonprofit organization. So we do have an organization with um, a director and um, the directors, we come together and we plan the event throughout the year um, and then also get volunteers. We, we, we rely on the support of our community as well. Mm -hmm. And then we plan um, the events that are popular to community, events that are focused on what activities we do in Southern Africa and spe spe specifically. Yes. Yeah. How are you able to maintain that South Africanness or Southern Africanness? So when you're in the United States, there's a bunch of like younger people who are in a way, uh, kind of uh, become Americanized. Uh, how, how, are you, how do you do that? Yeah, so what, part of what we do is we get um, the younger people involved in the planning of the organization. So we have people who are college level who are um, volunteering um, tonight at our fashion show, for example, and participating in our soccer games. And then we also have people who are in a um, more older generation um, who we all have the same vision, and that's to bring about um, the awareness of Southern African heritage. Yeah, now we're watching this video. It's a fashion show. This is a past event. I noticed something a bit interesting about how you do your fashion show. Uh, okay, there we go. Look at that guy. What is that? Tell us about it. So we want to have a fashion show um, that's a mixture of what you'd normally s expect to see in fashion shows internationally, but we also want to bring the Southern African flavor, which is unique um, for, and different from what you'd see in other African areas and different from what you see in the United States as well. So we have Southern African dancing, um, dancers from Zambia, from um, different places, and each year we switch up the acts as well um, to have a broader representation. Okay, now sometimes people say, well, some things sound great, uh, but they could be too ambitious. To what extent is there harmony, you know, among all these people? These are several nations, yes. and uh, within African nations, we have like sub-nations mm -hmm. even within that. Now tell me, how do you do this? Well, one of the things that we did with our board is we brought um, representation from different countries. So our board itself is diverse. We have people from South Africa. I myself am from Malawi. We have people from Botswana. And so we just um, try and talk things out, see where our common differences are, and then also um, keep in line with the mission of our organization, which is to promote Southern African heritage and culture and to unite the Southern African community. So we try to stay focused. How do you uh, avoid uh, the polit uh, politics of the region that sometimes actually does uh, polarize people across the borders? Well, right now, um, our platform is not um, political, so we are an apolitical organization um, because we do realize that there are those tensions and um, our main focus right now is to unite people and not to divide them. Okay, so briefly just run us through what's going to happen, when it begins, when it ends. Okay, so this weekend we're having um, the Southern African Reunion Weekend. Our kickoff event is the fashion show, which takes place in downtown Silver Spring. And that's from 8 p.m., uh, sorry, 6 to 8 p.m. Um, cocktail hour. And then the fashion store starts at 8. And then the next day we have, on Saturday, a soccer um, tournament and netball for the ladies as well. And we'll, people will be braying, um, which is barbecuing and there'll be um, it's a family event so we're mm -hmm. hoping to see a large turnout like we did have in previous years so you have kids coming in yes oh, uh, people and we have ages. children's games as well yeah children's games yeah i think i'll come and play soccer can i yes you can uh, you're welcome to but come I'm and play from South Africa. am i welcome oh no we're we're inclusive all oh, right yes <laughs> well it's great i just wish you all the best and uh you know hopefully you'll come and tell us about how it went down uh, so that uh, you know you can share with us all the yes, joys. Yes, I hope to do that. that. Yeah. Yes. Thanks a lot, uh, right, thank uh, Miss Kachipande.
Uh, Ms. Kach uh, Sitinga Kachipande is one of the organizers of the Southern African Reunion 2015.